Hi guys, cooking with Crystal. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes. So today I'm gonna cook clearly, <laughs> and uh, what I'm gonna prepare today for you guys. I'm going to do bhaji rice and okay so this is a barracuda or as someone told me just now it's called a wahoo kingfish by Tobagoians all right so barracuda or wahoo kingfish <laughs> I'll stick with barracuda because I'm familiar with that name yes and I had this baby in my freezer and I decided to take him out and I stuffed him out he's going in the oven gonna bake just like this on broil actually uh, we'll check the time. All right, so how I prepare this? I love this song that's playing <laughs> Right, so because um, I don't have any limes or lemons I normally when I get um when I get a a Large amount of limes or lemons I juice them and then I put them in the ice trays and freeze them and then I take them out Take all the cubes and put them in a ziplock bag. All right, so that is what I had so what I did, just because I really want to keep the lime flavor and to get away any freshness that um, you know that the fresh may have, may have <laughs> I took a bowl, I put probably a quarter cup of water, I put the lime block to melt in it, I added some seasoned salt and a seasoning block which would be this one on this side. Alright, this one is a seasoning block, this is a pimento block. Um, if you look at my seasoning videos, you'll see how I prepare the seasoning block. You prepare the, um, you prepare the pimento the same way. Alright, you just take all the stems of the pimento, you dump them in the um, fruit processor, you add a little salt, you chop them up and you put them in the, the ice cube blocks, in the ice trays. So you see they still have the formation. Big tuna's on the video right now. Yes, so, right. So, <laughs> back to what I was saying. A quarter cup of water, a block of um, the lemon or lime juice. Um, seasoned salt, a seasoning block, and uh, that's it. Give it a stir, and uh, you throw it inside the fish after you, of course, you scale and clean it. Right? So, I've also added um, sliced onions, sliced garlic, um, pimento slices, and bell peppers. And to top it off, I put a little bit of butter. Oh, yeah, I really like butter. Like, yeah, you hear me mention in, my, in some of my videos that I'm a butter girl. I really love butter. And again, this is going in the oven. We're gonna check the time. This looks good, right? Yes, get a load of it. It looks really nice, right? And for the bhaji rice, I'm gonna use brown basmati rice. Now, you can use regular rice if you don't have basmati rice. You can use jasmine rice, you can use regular parboiled rice, but it's regular rice or brown rice. I have brown basmati rice, I haven't used it in a bit. So, this is a cup and a half of basmati rice here, submerged in a cup of water. Um, total for cooking we're gonna need um, well oh lord all right so normally when you're cooking rice <laughs> when you're steaming it especially you need twice the amount of water as the rice that's for steaming if you're boiling the rice like some people do well I mean I'm gonna do bhaji rice so I'm not gonna boil it and throw the liquid but normally when you're cooking rice you need twice the amount of liquid as you, you um, as the amount of rice that you use right so so far I have three cups of liquid. One is in here and two on standby. All right, and one thing that I normally do, like if I boil potatoes, um, mainly potatoes, like if I boil potatoes, I don't throw away the water. I let it cool and I put it in a Ziploc bag and I freeze it for times like these when I need liquid. All right, so for bhaji rice, a lot of people use um, fresh coconut milk. Again, I don't have the um, comfort of you know like getting a fresh coconut whenever I need so I blend my coconut <laughs> I put them in the ice trays the liquid that is and I freeze them so I'm just gonna use like four coconut blocks I may use some coconut milk powder as well all right um so yeah this is gonna make up a little bit of additional um liquid for the bhaji um for the bhaji rice so in all it will be probably like about four cups of liquid yeah and then the bhaji springs water to, um, as well, but it's gonna cook. Um, we're gonna see how it cooks, right? <laughs> All right, it's like this, a bit soggy because I froze it. I normally clean my bhaji and I bag it and freeze it. All right, these here are the stems, right? What you normally do, some people throw away the stems and keep the leaves alone. I chopped up the leaves, by the way. All right, I like to use the stem as well because they are healthy and also, you know, they increase the amount of bhaji because 
this boils down to almost nothing trust me all right so a cup of water here in a cup and a half of um in a, in a cup and a half of brown basmati rice it's this color because i added a tablespoon of curry powder just to get a little bit of color and also the flavor all right so the bhaji is here we call bhaji spinach as well over here so yeah this is not the color the bush this is bhaji or spinach the one where you pick off the leaves of the stems and you throw with these well most people like i said throw with the stems all right over here i have again four blocks of coconut milk some chopped carrots and pumpkin and again pumpkin <laughs> i normally buy like a, an entire pumpkin i peel cut it up separate them and i freeze them so don't mind the size it's gonna melt away in the pot and it's not gonna remain that big and even if it does it's pumpkin everybody loves pumpkin all right and over here is what i'm gonna start up with and end with so we're gonna start up with chopped um onions grated garlic and a, uh, a generous piece of butter <laughs> And uh, at about the last five minutes of um, um, of cooking time with the rice, with the party rice, I'm going to add my pimento block and seasoning block just to give it that boost of flavor. I've said enough. Let's get started. The oven is on, my pot is heated, and we're going to get started. Yay! So to the pot here, I added a bit of vegetable oil, whatever oil you have is fine, corn oil, soya bean oil, sunflower oil, whatever kind of oil you want. But you don't necessarily have to add the oil, <laughs> I like oil. <laughs> right, and I've added the um, garlic, onions, and the um, chunk of butter, and now I'm going to add in the bhaji. Right. Okay. It's kind of dangerous what I'm doing here, stirring while wild. wild. Wild, wild filming. <laughs> but um, okay. So the bhaji is gonna take a very um, it's gonna take a while to cook. All right. So to this, you're not gonna add any liquid. It's better to cook these in these iron pots so that it will, you know, cook properly. The, the liquid won't dry out too fast before the um before the the actual food, you know, it is cooked. All right. So. Depending on the type of pot you use, and uh, yeah, depending on the type of pot you use, it's gonna determine the cooking time. All right, so I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna cover it completely and uh, allow it to cook in its own juices. All right, and um, yeah, when it's like three quarter um, through cooking and. To, to um, of course find out if it's cooked you taste you know you taste the piece now this um, the bhaji normally doesn't really dissolve as soft as the um, kalalu bush right it tends to stay a bit you know slightly rough and hard and it doesn't really melt right so um, it's gonna take a while to cook we're gonna keep checking it and uh, yeah some people um i guess put it in the food processor or chop it up even finer i don't know but i'm going through how i cook it with you guys so yeah i'm gonna cover this then now um, we're gonna check it like every five minutes or so until i'm ready to put in the bhaji right um to, until i'm ready to put in the rice and the other ingredients all right guys nice Alright guys, so this is just after about 40 minutes of being in the oven on broil. Alright, so I'm just going to scoop up the juices and pour it over it and I'm going to put it back in for like 10 minutes again. 10 to 15 minutes. Not much juices though, but I'm going to get it and pour it on top. And even so when it's done, I'm going to just pour any juices if remaining on top just to keep the skin moist. So. Alright, so yeah, cooking with crystals, this looks delicious. It smells so good right now in here. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So same forty. Check it. Um, <laughs> same forty minutes. Sorry, <laughs> I'm checking the bhaji rice. All the water has dried out, so I'm going to pour in just about two cups of boiling water. Now this is another thing when you're cooking, always have boiling water on standby. All right. So you know, just in case you need it. 
you won't have to use tem room temperature water which would kind of which would more or less slow down your cooking process you want it to basically continue so with the boiling water in there it's going to continue to cook rather than everything cool back down and have to get back up to temperature again yeah all right so i'm gonna cover this and give it another half hour and at that point i'm gonna add in the rice and everything else all right so you see we're getting there I think I'm gonna spread a piece of foil. The foil also helps um, um, food to cook as well because it retains the heat so well. If you don't have a cover, that would seal it off properly. Um, but yeah, I wanted to put the foil. I'll put the foil and see if that that helps because normally it takes a very long while for this to actually cook. So let me put the foil. all right guys and we are out the fish is a red day so i would say uh cooking time would be just about one hour 40 minutes 10 yeah so 10 minutes just now and i kind of forgot i didn't put on the timer so i'm gonna transfer this to a plate so you can look a lot you know clean in the background but yeah this is this is super awesome and the next thing i forgot to mention i mean you could do this with any fish Right, so don't go to the to the um fish market looking for barracuda or the grocery store. Any fish you want. <laughs> Once it's a whole fish and you know it's cleaned and gutted. Yeah? Let me transfer it. I don't love you anymore. Alright, so I just needed to share this transfer. So what I did, I just shifted it off of the foil while it was in the pan so that you know when I'm transferring like this that it doesn't stick. Alright, so here, here we go. Oh my god, guys, this looks so juicy and I don't even have any liquid to pour over it, right? But that's okay. That is quite okay. Look at that, guys. Get all up in there. Yeah, our fish is ready and waiting. So I'm going to cover this so that it remains hot. And um, yeah, we still have a good way to go the battery rice. Alright, so yeah, guys, sweet. All right, guys. So change of plans. No major changes. So you learn things, you know. Sometimes while you're going along, not everything. Uh, well, I mean, I knew about the foil over the arm, um, like the foil. Put the foil to cover the pot, and then you put the pot cover over the foil. That helps, um, you know, cook stuff faster, and it absolutely helps with this. All right, it absolutely helps with the bhaji. So now I'm going to pour in everybody else. All right, so there goes the rice that I said was um, a cup and a half of um, brown basmati rice and a cup of water. I actually added a little more of the potato water. Remember, I told you I had the potato water there. All right. And I'm also going to add in the coconut. You remember the coconut blocks I had, they completely melted. Well, not, yeah, they completely melted. All right, so I'm going to add in that with the pumpkin and the carrots. And uh, yeah, that's it. Give that a little stir, and you know what? I'm gonna put back the um, I'm gonna put back the foil to cover it. Now, guys, everything I cook, I I more or less season them. Eh? So you might be wondering why the potato water looked like it had seasoning in it. It's because it had. <laughs> so even if I'm boiling potatoes, I put something to flavor the potatoes. I'm just chopping these um pumpkin pieces in half. Oh, that is a really nice um, aroma right now with the curry powder and the bhaji. Yeah. Alright, and I'm also going to use a bit of coconut powder, coconut milk powder. This is the best brunch. <laughs> Alright, um, you know what? I'm going to put the seasoning blocks as well. Right. So, cooking time for the bhaji alone with the foil over it. Um, was probably we could check that we could check that as one hour you know like after you fry up the bhaji and the onion and the garlic you can put like two cups of boiling water or hot water and cover it with the foil and check it for like 45 minutes yeah check it like 45 minutes after and see if you get a good arm um, if it's nice and soft all right so yeah hopefully this is enough water because like I said the rice normally takes like twice the amount of water so 
Now was three cups of liquid apart from the two cups that I put in the baji which, which basically dry down and um, the coconut sauce. Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt. You can add whatever you want. You can add regular salt. You can add um, seasoned salt. I kind of like to use this too. Yeah, yeah, Maggie. Yeah, you're showing off today, right? So yeah, this right here. Yeah. So I'm going to just sprinkle a bit of that and then I'm going to put the foil over it again and probably check like half hour. Alright, and what you would want is... Well, of course, all the water is going to absorb into the rice and or the flavor and everything is just gonna absorb it's gonna be a nice pot we're gonna check it when it's done cooking with crystal we're making baji rice and the fish is just there waiting so let me put my seasoned salt and check half hour and we'll get back here yeah? all right guys so the kitchen is smelling lovely the baji rice is cooking up yes 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 all right so i'm just showing you this to show you how i prepare my coconut blocks all right, and I also put some in a Ziploc bag. When I know I have like a large amount to use, I would put some in a Ziploc bag. So sometime soon I'll be making kalalu. Yes, kalalu. I'll show you all how to how I prepare my kalalu as well. So this is when I have to make my kalalu. All right, um, and yeah, this is what I do. So I normally you'll crack the dry coconut. Oh gosh, I didn't show you all what a dry coconut is. Well, I, I think most of you should know <laughs> what a dry coconut is. <laughs> You crack it, you cut it up, you know, you wash it out and everything, and you put some water in the blender and you blend it up. Then you strain it with a strainer and you squeeze the husk. All right, and you put the juices in the, in the um, rice strainer. I mean, in the <laughs> ice trays. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put these to freeze. And when these are um, when these are frozen, they're going to a sip like that. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. So we are 20 minutes um, into cooking. Remember what I told you? Well, you remember what? I, remember what I was telling you about the pumpkin? <laughs> about the pumpkin? I don't know what is going on with me. <laughs> remember what I was telling you about the pumpkin? Maybe I talk a bit too fast sometimes. Yeah, that it melts away. You see that? So yeah, I told you was it going to remain in big chunks. See, all this smells really nice. The seasoning and the um, the bit of curry powder that I put in there as well. Um, so yeah, the rice grains are a bit greedy still, but they're still liquid to be, um, you know, they're still liquid remaining. So I have some water in the kettle on standby, and I'm going to put back the foil and leave this for another 15 minutes. Um, if the rice grains um, haven't cooked within about 15 minutes, again, with the amount of water that is remaining here, I'm going to add just about a half cup. A half cup to a cup depending on how much um more the rice needs to cook all right guys cooking with crystal we're making baji rice so all here now i go on the inside right and i sit down and i'm on my food cracking up off of these memes and i smell and i say about beet i smell it like food cooking only i don't forget i cook it you know all in good time and let me switch off the stove all in good time and you see that down there Let's not let the steam move away. Right. When we're making any, um, normally we do pedal like this. And you see down here, this is what we call the bun bun. So long time as a child. I think big people still do it. But I used to do that as a child. <laughs> when the pedal done, all the food come out the pot. We did this with cuckoo as well. I'll go through a cuckoo video with you all as well. Cuckoo is um, a dish prepared using cornmeal flour. So anyway. So this right here that is stuck to the pot is called bun. Ow, oh, I'll touch the pot. Oh gosh, it's hot. This is called bun bun. <laughs> and like normally when all the food is out of the pot, we would like try to scrape the bottom part here. And it's be crispy and nice and you just sit and eat it in a bowl. Yeah, yeah, we do that. Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> right, so this is all good right here. I did not add any additional water. The amount of liquid was just perfect. All right, so three cups of well, double the amount of water for every um for the whatever amount of rice you're using. So in this case, I use a cup and a half of brown masmati rice. I use three cups of liquid. The liquid I use, like I told you all, was um potato water basically, right? Um, and it's always good to store that water and keep it because at times like these, it it, it adds it gives additional flavor, and also it's from potatoes, you know. So you're getting good stuff right um so yeah 
three cups of water for one and a half cups of rice and also I had two cups of water to cook the bhaji yeah and I left the foil on under the cover so this is just perfect look at this guys yeah pumpkin has melted they getting bits of carrots in between and yeah this is really good so now we are going to play it yes yes oh gosh I'm hungry guys 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 here we are oh my god I cannot wait to dip into this I know that once you are prepared you are going to enjoy it as well all right so in order to get this nice shape with the rice here all you have to do is grease um, a bowl of your choice whatever size and shape you just put a little bit of butter or oil you pass it around the bowl you put the rice in it you press it out and then you flip the bowl on the plate to get it out <laughs> all right and at the side here I have some uh, pine pineapple and cucumber chow not really much of a chow I just put some black pepper and salt some sliced tomatoes bhaji rice and me barracuda that we baked yeah open foil and broil for 45 minutes to one hour I just have one finishing touch for this I told you all I love butter right so yeah here we go oh my god yes oh my god all here oh get all up in there all right guys so it was really nice cooking with crystal i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all are going to try this oh my god my mouth is watering right now <laughs> enjoy i hope you already enjoy this very simple dish to prepare it's just that the bad rice took a little bit of time but it's all good so yeah cooking with crystal today we made bad rice and baked fish hope you all really enjoyed i am going to lick up this plate like i'm going to destroy this right now thank you guys bye oh my gosh bye guys <laughs>